the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am, it says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. And who's the thief? The thief is the nation of Esau, Edom, so-called white man. It says, for this cause alone, the Heavenly Father has promised to obliterate the entire nation of Eden from off the face of the earth. Let's go to Zechariah. Let's go to the book of Zechariah. This is Zechariah chapter 2, verse 8. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, after the glory hath he sent me into the nations which spoiled you. For he that toucheth you, talking about the nation of Israel, touches the apple of his eye. For behold, I will shake my hand upon them, and they shall be a spoil to their servants. And ye shall know that I ye shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me. And the nation of Edom had uh touched the apple of the Lord's eye. Uh even going back prior to 16, uh, 1619, you know, the enslavement of the so-called Negroes, you know, in the Americas, you know, starting off with the, the Northern Kingdom, which are the uh, Hispanics and Native Americans, you know, when they came over to the shores of America prior, they, 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 they raped, robbed and murdered the Native Americans and the, and the Hispanics that was dwelling in Central South America, you know. So for that, it says, for this cause alone, touching the apple of the Lord's eye, the Heavenly Father had promised to obliterate the entire nation of Edom from off the face of the earth. We just read in the Bible, in the Zion Van Compact Bible Dictionary, that Edom was the only nation not promised mercy from the Most High. And also, if you read the book of Obadiah, let's go to the point. Book of Obadiah, I'm going to start at, uh, this is Obadiah 1 and 18, it says, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. The house of Jacob is talking about uh, the, the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, okay? And the house of Joseph is talking about the northern kingdom, being uh, the Hispanics and Native Americans. It says, In the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. And they shall, and there shall not be any remaining in the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. And that hasn't happened. Yet. That's a future prophecy. So it says, for this cause alone, the heavenly Father has promised to obliterate the entire nation of Edom from off the face of the earth, for all the atrocities you have done to the children of Israel. Okay. It says. At this present day, Edom is greatly despised throughout the world amongst all nations. His latter end will be a thousand years of slavery. Why? Because we've been in America, we've been in a slavery, you know, we've been in slavery under the hand of the uh, Edomites during the, the American Empire for about 500 years, okay? Scripture and Revelation. You know, roughly about 500 years could be a little bit more. Scripture in Revelation says, in Revelation chapter 18, verse 6, concerning America, okay, Babylon the Great. It says, well, war to her, you know, talking about uh, the people that, that rule this kingdom, the, the biblical Edomites. It says, reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her according to to her works and the cup which she had filled filled to her double okay so we've been in this slavery roughly about 500 years so they're going to go into slavery for a thousand years because it's thus say revelation 18 and 6 because it says reward her double so 500 times two is roughly 500 some change times two roughly about thousand thousand years of slavery okay it says under, it says, so it says her lat, it says his latter ends will be a thousand years of slavery under the nation of Israel 
followed by genocide. That is extermination by Holocaust. And we just read that scripture in Obadiah 118. So with that, Pope Brothers was uh, edified about who the nation of Edom is, the so-called white man, through through let me go back to that. Yep, through genealogy, prophecy, the spirit, the spirit of prophecy, history, and characteristics. Pope Brothers was edified about who the nation of Edom was, the so-called white man. And uh, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of JMS and salutations to the left brethren out there, pushing the word and sincerity and truth. Shalom.